Hi guys, so joined with Kira. Say hello. Hello. And she's got uh, chocolate biscuits, haven't you? Yeah. Um, today we're going to do my fo 14, 16 week pregnancy update. Um, I turned 16 weeks on Sunday and today is Wednesday. I just thought I'd do it today because I had a midwife appointment yesterday. Um, and I just thought I'd do the update after I'd had the midwife appointment so that it's all fresh and that I can remember what had happened and what had been said. So nothing really much has been happening um, with regards to the pregnancy. Well, I'll say that um, I have been feeling some movements, which obviously is super exciting. Um, it started off last week as just like a couple of taps here and there. And then... <laughs> and then um, as the days have progressed I could there's been a few more taps going so um, it's definitely the baby I, I know for a fact well done darling I know for a fact that it's the baby and there's no denying that so definitely been feeling some movements um, I've been getting a few spots um, I've got a big one down here there and I've got one here um, I never had spots with during Kira or Joshua's pregnancy, so it's it's a bit new for me. Um, but other than that, there's been no other symptoms. Um, I've been feeling fine. So, but that that's really mu pretty much like it as far as symptoms go. It's not been too bad, um, but that's probably why I didn't make a video, you know, do a 15 week update, just because nothing had happened and there was nothing to report back on. So there was no point in making a video just for me to say that nothing could happen. But obviously, from 15 weeks and 16 weeks, something's happened. I've been feeling flutters and tapping and stuff like that. So I thought I might as well make a video. Plus, I've had my midwife appointment, so I can talk about that as well. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is I received my letter for my 20-week scan. Um, and I've got that on the 7th of April. Uh, I think I'll be about 19 weeks and five days, I think. So it'll be just before I'm 20 weeks. Um, and I don't know if we'll be finding out the gender yet. I haven't. I don't know if we'll be finding out the gender. I haven't given it a thought yet. Um, but we probably will. <laughs> um, so yeah there's been that and also I had a letter back from the hospital um, to say that I'm not so much anemic but I've got low ferritin um, levels which the ferritin is the protein that sort of like holds the iron so I haven't got low iron I've got quite good iron levels but I've got low ferritin levels so I have to have some iron tablets anyway because they apparently that's what helps it um, and then on the 1st of April I've got to go back to the I've got to go to the hospital to have a repeat blood test um, Mommy. to see if my ferritin Mommy. levels are going up Mommy. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. can mummy record this video? no oh you nasty <laughs> <laughs> So um, so yeah, hopefully that will work. I've got I've got to ring the doctors today to um, see if my prescription is ready to pick up for my iron tablets. Hopefully they are, and then we can. I was say we could take a walk up, but I don't have to push her. So I'll probably have to ask like Darren to pick him up on his way home from work, or if that's not the case, then I'll have to ask my dad to pick him up because he lives around the corner from my doctor's. So. I'll probably have to be that. Where is baby? And you a baby? No, where is baby? Is there a baby in your belly? Yeah. Is that? Mummy, a purple baby. Mummy got a purple baby? Baby. Yeah. In my belly? Yeah. Where's mummy's baby? Baby. In my belly. Is it a baby brother or a baby sister? Baby sister. You want a baby sister? 
Yeah. Oh, did you? With a baby sister. Yeah, because you've already got a brother, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um so yeah, the midwife appointment, we had the midwife appointment yesterday. Um and it was really nice to see the midwife because it's the same midwife that I had through Kira's pregnancy. Um but she went on maternity leave while I was pregnant with Joshua and obviously now she's back and I've got her again. Um, so it's really nice to have her again. She remembered everything about me. She remembered Kira. Um, she even remembered Kira's name. So it was really nice to like see her again and know that I've got her all the way through the pregnancy. Um, obviously until the end, assuming that I have um, a home birth. And obviously my care gets switched You are up. Look. You're just taking over this video. This video should have been a quick five minute video. No! And it's going to turn into like a 20 minute video because you keep chatting away. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, the midlife point was fine. My, she checked my blood pressure. That was fine. She checked my heartbeat. That was fine. Um, she checked my urine. Um, she said that, I can't remember what she said, there was, some, there was something in there. Um, she said it was just slightly concentrated or something like that. Um, she asked me um, if I had any symptoms of a urinary tract infection and I said no. But obviously I know that you can have the infection without having any symptoms. So I've just got to keep an eye on that. Um, she said that it wasn't high enough like, to be concerned about but just to keep an eye on it for any like, signs of the infection. Mm -hmm. right. And so that was that was all good. <clears throat> um, and then we had to listen to baby's heartbeat. She found it straight away, and it was a lovely, strong heartbeat. Baby kept scooting about all over the place. Um, <clears throat> but it was nice to listen to the baby's heartbeat. And she rang up the hospital to get the results of my blood test that I had done at 12 weeks. And they was all fine, um, everything was fine. I'm still O negative, my blood group hasn't changed. So um, I'll still have the anti D injection at 20 week, 28 weeks. Um, I've got that booked in. So I think it's for June, I think I'm booked in for that. So yeah. I'll get that given at 28 weeks. What's that, darling? In a minute then. And then. Um, I'm booked back in to see the midwife at 24 I mean, weeks, so uh, in uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, so 8 weeks time uh, I'll be seeing the midwife again, but obviously uh, I do have my 20 week appointment uh, in between there. Uh, um, in, you are up. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it as far as updates go and what's happening. Um, I spoke to the home birth team twice and um, the woman's on yeah. the I spoke to the I, I can't remember when I spoke to the midwife but she was going on annual leave for two weeks so I probably won't be hearing of her for a while anyway and she said that she'll give me a ring when she's back and sort out her home visit so that she can come and have a chat with me and stuff like that. Um, I'll leave it there because this video is getting a bit long Mama now sure. because someone keeps chatting away. Um, but I will give you a bump shot. Down and, ow, ow, no, sit down, darling. I'll give you a bump shot so you can see what my bump's looking like. It's not the nicest bump in the world, but it's definitely a bump. Bless your mouth. <laughs> Um, it's not the nicest bump in the world, but it's, it's still a bump. Um, <laughs> but it's still a bump, so I'll show you that. And yeah, I'll show you that now. That is my 16 week bump. That was my bump, um, and I'll stop the video there because someone needs the toilet, so we're going to have to go for a wee. 
Um, but yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.